Welcome back. So, uh, let's see if I can hear myself. I can hear myself. Nice. So, today we're going to plot these two arrays. I mean, the Sam. And uh, that's the only thing we're going to do. And uh, this is going to be based on R4. So, we actually need to create another uh another file if you want and uh try to do so so um so what the hell so here we have the trailer in q4 is it q4 no r4 so i'm going to copy r4 as uh u is the U the yeah. So this is going to be you I don't know a ray plot I'm not sure how to let's say a plot I mean and this a plot needs to be um okay let's see What's the? By the way, let me edit the video just real quick, so that we can uh, have a proper. Uh... Proper screenshot. Uh, let's save. Let's go back to the video. <clears throat> okay, so uh, today is nineteen, and let's let's open this you think several times so that we we don't get confused here. So this is going to be you one. And then you want here too. <clears throat> That's it. So, uh, uh, if we here, here, if we okay. Take a look at this. So this is based on training HDRR, so this is going to be the same thing. Train marine a plot U based on this one here. Uh, and now we need to add the U1 and uh, now we have this new wait what the hell ha happens here why there is any change here um s t t has been changed yeah i mean we can restore scripts trailer in trailer in t because we don't want this and now You've got this new file that we're going to commit thanks to this. Okay. <clears throat> so now we are working on you and we're going to plot this, uh, what we have here, which is this uh, some stuff. And uh, so in order to do so, uh, we are going to change uh, how you plot the stuff so it's overlay false okay and uh, the only the old the other thing that we want to do is have these values here so <clears throat> maybe I need to find 
find any of this get something something so there's this advice here regarding this and that but we don't have any of this so well uh, <clears throat> let's see if I manage to find the um, the strategy Okay, trade rings up the strategy. We should have. Okay, here's the consensus strategy, which is the one that we are interested on. And uh, what the hell is this? Do we have any swing strategy or something? Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. I think. Wait a moment. Okay, here there is. This is the HTA super strategy. And here we have some advice. Um, <clears throat> we have some advice from here. And so I don't want to plot everything down there. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, Longs XTA Sam. It's going to be this one here. <clears throat> and also this one here. <clears throat> so shorts Sam. This is not perfect. Okay, now, and the other thing I want to change that I have not uh, set anything is the input so that it's 10. So the input regarding the array size. So here in uh, HDA inputs, by default, this is an 8. So this is going to be 10 instead. So we change it here, and we also change it here on the top. So that's nice. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, right now I'm not going to, um, What's the name? I'm not going to commit anything, but we're going to just work on on this. So we have long some okay. So this is very nice. <clears throat> so this is what we're going to plot, okay? And uh, we're going to plot it uh, just the way we want to do it, and. Um, now we can find out how you maybe extra code okay so after this extra code we can plot some stuff here okay and uh, <clears throat> let's see if I managed to plot everything here so this should be a plot long hda sam okay with a color color dot line and uh, <clears throat> then what we want to do is um we want to plot the other one uh, higher okay so what we have here is long HDA Sam. Uh, yeah, so maybe maybe it's the other way around that we want to do it. Let me see. <clears throat> so 
So this is the short one. So the short one, it's going to be on the bottom and it's going to be like uh, red. Okay. Then you're going to have, hmm, what's the name? You're going to have a, uh, the, this size here that we have here, the long size is the one on the top and uh, the size of the short one is on the bottom okay <clears throat> so what you want to plot here is the short HDSM without anything okay and then um, Yeah, so then what you want to do is have the short size as the minimum plus this one here. So this is 10 plus 10. I mean, this is 10. And uh, we can say 5. So you have some difference. So this is going to be long HD aim some plot bottom it's going to be this and uh, the top long oh, HDA is plot top this the top is going to be um, the bottom plus uh, whatever the long size is you know what I mean and the long size is here Okay, so we've got the bottom, the, the thing here. And uh, we are also going to do the same thing here. Let me see. So the bottom, it's going to be zero, zero, because I say so. And the, and the top, I mean, the top is going to be the bottom plus the short, the short stop size. So it's the same thing. Okay, so uh, we're going to plot short sum. So short sum plot. It's going to be um, short sum, whatever it is, plus the bottom. You know what I mean? Plus the bottom. That's 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 very nice. And then you can take this and use it in order to plot the short plot. <coughs> Which is zero, but you, you have you have that, okay? So here uh This is not right. This is the shorts one and the shorts one. So the shorts one is Am I doing this right or not? Plot top. <clears throat> okay, so the bottom is zero and the top is... Whatever the bottom... This is more difficult that, than than uh, this is less difficult than it sounds because some of them are points and some of them are values, 
and that's so the one that ends in sum is a value so first of all we have the bottom which is zero so we say uh, plot bottom the top is going to be the top for this uh, chart mini chart is going to be back and bottom plus the size doesn't and the plot needs to be whatever you wanted to do plus the bottom which is this one here that's it then finally you plot this let's copy and paste this and just replace everything and just say right now longs shorts are longs and now we will fix this okay so the bottom of the longs it's going to be this short top plus five because i want a difference of five here I mean it uh, 5 50 25 let's say 20 okay this is what's going to be the bottom then the top it's going to be whatever and how you plot the stuff is this plus the bottom which makes sense and then you plot it and that's it that's it this one is on the top 20 above the short top and that's it so everything here should give us a nice uh, chart where we have um, what the hell is this? Okay, let's reload this real quick just in case. I don't know why there isn't a space here. Okay, so uh, K4. Let's <clears throat> overwrite everything here. And we will be able to check. Hopefully, something. Okay. Not identify a bottom top. Long sum plot bottom. Oh, look at that. You cannot have. You cannot define a function from a future variable. <clears throat> so the bottom is like this, the top is based on the bottom, and then you plot whatever. So this this should have the same problem, maybe. Yeah. So the bottom needs to be defined first. And then the top, I guess, which is here. And then you can do this perfectly. Yeah. Even if in the chart it's there is an order, uh, then when you define variables, they need to be defined before they are needed. Otherwise, it's not... Okay, we have managed... <clears throat> Uh, okay, so as the long is based on whatever you do on the shorts, even if I don't like it, I need to set short first because that's what what we are using here in order to de define the long. Even when you are going to plot everything, this is going to be on the top. So after many, many changes, 
we can uh, probably compile this. So I will have to move the the uh, trailer in thing somewhere. I'm not sure. Yeah. So this this one here. You trailer in. Where the hell are you showing it? <clears throat> yeah, because we have put, instead of 8, we have put 10 of them. And it doesn't work so well. Uh, but, I mean, I don't care. I just want to plot this stuff. And uh, I'm not sure if it's here no it's not here is this one here no it's not it's not any of them update on chart uh, there's nothing to update yeah but where, where the hell is my graphic my graph new trend green And let's make this okay. Here it is. So your trailer in is here on the bottom. Do we have anything open here? No, we don't. And here we have the your trailer in. So in theory, uh, look at that. Here we have uh, some lines. That's uh, the problem with you, my friend. I am supposed to be using the one on the left, I guess. Um, I hate all of this. Let's move this in another pane. New pane below. Let's contract this. Hopefully now we can... So Richard, we reset, nothing happens, because this is... <clears throat> okay, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> what the hell is this? 0, 30. Okay, so this is the 10 one, and the other one is the other one. And apparently both of them are maroon, because I have not changed the color. And so one thing I want to do is H-line. So H-line with um, the bottom. H line with the top. Okay. And we want to do the same thing with uh, the plot one. So the bottom here and the top here. Here you are. That way it's going to be easier to. Um, Is this one here? Yes, it is. So now we're going to be able to see this better. And hopefully... I mean, this should be seen. They should maybe go back to 8 and 8. I don't know. So, if I reset everything just in case. Okay, so what, what you have on the top is from 30 to, to 
to to 40 is this the the long so as you can see here is zero the sum is zero at the very end so it's not very useful okay take a look at this and uh, if we make this we move this like this here you are mm. we can finally start to grasp let's let's move to the um, existing pane above so that uh, volume I'm not sure if I want volume here okay so this is what I wanted to see so what you what you see on the bottom is the short array and uh, the more you have a short array it means that short is losing because you have more short stop losses and uh, when this goes up it means that uh, the price is going down because you have more long stop losses. So in theory, if you take a look around here, you should see how around here a lot of long trades. Wait. Well, you should see that the long trades probably from here so some people that uh, did did try to make some long trades around here now they are failing because of this going down okay and that way we can know we can understand whatever it is so now it's just plotting these two um, graphs and trying to understand if this is useful in order to <clears throat> if this is useful okay in order to learn um, you know for example here long trades don't have any problem are, what are we supposed to be doing here? Are we supposed to short here? Because this is uh, zero. Maybe here we're supposed to be shorting. Uh, apparently here we are shorting and it's okay. So this is 30, this is 5. Here we also have like 5-4. Yeah, here we have 4 because it's 34 minus 30. <coughs> Let me write down some notes here so that I don't forget about this. So today it's February, I mean, let's say 19, even if it's 20. So if longs, if longs, uh, HTA, HTA sum gets to five, then it's a good idea to short. Okay, so this is, uh, we, we set both arrays to 10 size, because that's what we have done here, thanks to the settings, we have, this is a change, I mean, yes, we have done it, where the hell is this, 10 and 10, okay, so when the long HCA sum is a five, which is like here. 
then it's a good idea to short okay and uh, here we also have five more or less it's a good idea to short okay let's keep going on okay look at that probably possible short and here we have the same thing so it's like 35 somewhere so here we have 35 and we short yeah this one is six okay so let's say that it's six instead of five something like that okay so let's keep finding this stuff so we have five okay so 35 is here so around here we short okay and uh, what about 36 which is here apparently maybe yes maybe not <clears throat> Here it's also short that seems to to work well. Maybe not. And uh, here we also have a lot of six. Hmm. These are a lot of six in uh, I'm not sure if you would win here with the short. I mean actually here all of the trees are okay so uh, let's take a look at bottom at the bottom you we, we can see how a uh, short uh, the short array is very small is like one and here we are not getting very good results when this is short six but there was some moments where short six was a good idea like uh, maybe here uh, I'm not sure so you can see how um, this is or why is it why can't we have 4.0 yeah so at around 4 What the hell is is this? So, at the round six, which is here, it might be a good idea to short, although you don't have six here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So this possible short, there was zero on the bottom. Okay, so these were good candidates where we had Okay, let's let's zoom in here. So here this I think these are I mean here we lose but around here it might be a good idea to, to short and Hmm, so maybe here is a good idea to short. So this is more than six. We cross from seven to six and we cross from I don't know if it's a good idea. So this is showing us if the idea about having this race is a good idea or not. Uh, let me change this to 8 because 8 seemed to work for some stuff. So maybe 8, eight length is a good thing after all. So I want to study this with 8. 
though. Ten size discarded. And now we set both arrays to eight size. Okay. <clears throat> Once again, this doesn't know. Log vertical something. Automatic does nothing. Let's try and find whatever we have here. Which we already know, but you know. Okay, so now we are with eight and eight. So it's going to be different. So this is not going this starts from twenty. So it's going to be more difficult to know which are the numbers. And this is from 0 to 8. We already see it here. So uh, let's see what's the full picture about this. So maybe, maybe, maybe... Um, <clears throat> How the hell do we keep, do we find this thing going up or whatever? Okay, let me see. Yeah. So the question is, <clears throat> for instance, here, is this, a, this is a good idea too long. Okay. And uh, let's write it down. So if long HDA sum is um, 8, OK, and short HDA sum is 0, then we long. And uh, that's something that the only place where you can do it is here. Okay. Let's find another place where we have this zero thing with long HTM8. No. Mm. Okay. Oh, here, here it is. I mean, not exactly, but here we have 0 and 8. If long HTA is some, some and uh, this is 0, then we long. However, here uh, it's not a, a good idea to, to long, actually. What you actually want to do here is to short. Uh, that's very interesting. Yeah, because this thing here, this thing here that says I, I've got a lot of longs. Let me let me remove this. So what I'm seeing here is what has happened here, but but later on, because we wait twenty-four candles till we decide to, to get this data so uh, yeah so the long is here so it's a good idea to have the long here however we need to have trades that are not 24 but less than 24 okay maybe it's not a good idea to check for the trades 24 candles later but six can six four or six candles later <sighs> okay okay so uh let's zoom here for a moment so that we can see how many of these Rates. 
So I want to find here where I have eight of these. I don't want to wait till 24, which is, um, let me see, here. So 24, 24 is here, and now I decide long. No. I want to decide like this, so uh, maybe 10 bars. 10 bars, and then I decide to do some stuff. Probably 10 is overfit, but I think that's uh, so probably 10 bars, okay? <clears throat> so not, do not wait 24 candles. Let's wait only 10 bars in order to decide. And that's to be done thanks to. Uh, trailering thing. Wait a moment. Trailering period. Uh, do we actually want to change the trailering period? That's a good question. No, we don't want to. We actually want to change. Um. Wait a moment. <clears throat> okay, so... So, Monte Carlo... So this is Monte Carlo check after X bar N bars. This is going to be ten. Okay. Here you are. <clears throat> so now I should have this thing not like here but more to the left I mean hopefully it will work that way and that way then 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 it's just a matter of um, finding right values around here okay so So what we want to do is 8, which is no longer 8. What the hell is this? So this starts from 28, and this is 34. 34, so... Um, Okay, so discard it, and now we have eight size plus ten Monte Carlo. Okay, so if the long is um, twenty-eight, if the long is six, and the short is zero, then we long. And that's something that we do uh, here. So here we long, and we have a very good result because we're going to, to the infinity thing. Okay, and uh, we have an eight size. Now I want to check what actually happens later on when we have, I don't know, maybe here, here, this might be a good idea to long somewhere. So let me see. Here we have zero and uh, 34. Oh no, this is 33. This is not 34. So I'm so we are missing here. Um, 
But the question is... Now I don't know where the hell we were before. The thing is that 33-34 apparently is a good idea to, to... So take a look at this. This is the last rally that... December... No, this is not the last rally, but you know... We can maybe use it. So, uh, 34. No, this is 33. <clears throat> okay, so if... If we have a 5 and this is 0, we long. <clears throat> nice. What more stuff we ha do we have here? If we have a five and then zero, we long. Okay. I want to check the latest. Okay, here it is. This is a very good uh, move upwards movement that has happened because of the what's the name? Because the eight, eight ETF thing. So the only place where maybe this makes sense is this zero here and what the hell is this 31 so 31 this is three so he, he this was a good place so sometimes it feels like when the short some zero is zero then it's a good idea to long Sometimes it happens like that. Although here, if you long, I don't know if we had, it would have had the short stop loss there. <clears throat> okay, take a look at this. So, if the short is zero, then we long. Ah, uh, this one was not so good. Short is zero, we long. This one... Yeah. <coughs> this one was not so good. Although, if we could... If we, have, if we could have a stop loss, which is... Like this, based on ATR. Maybe we can do something. This is another short gets to zero. <clears throat> okay, so uh, maybe we should write down if short sum is zero, then we long. <clears throat> because it might be a good thing to do most of the times. And that's something that we want to do. Okay. So, um, <laughs> another thing that we might think about is this uh, long array. Can we use this own long array in order to to short? So that's a good idea. How the hell do we manage to find out? So take a look at this, here you have, <clears throat> here you have a um, good opportunity to short, I think, and uh, the only way you find this out is because this is 6, this thing here doesn't explain us anything. Although there's this fucking candle that it's going to stop loss our short. But I think that um, if we write down that if short HDA sum is 6, then we short. So 
so we might find something related to this so this means shooting and uh, yeah there are, there is not so much shootings but here we have here we have a shooting look at that look at that because we have a lot of a lot of shots that has been lost so when you have six then it's a good idea to short and look at that short so so far we can ignore this green array regarding the long stop losses and we just focus on the short stop losses and uh, that's that's interesting that the what is useful is the short stop losses. That's that's very interesting. Let's see. So here uh, we have set we long. So we would long here. Okay, not a good idea. It's a good idea here, but not here. So I'm not sure. Maybe we we would save it here. I'm not sure. Uh, here we long. This is a good idea. Till there's a problem here, but in any case, it goes up. Uh, what the hell happens here? Long, which is not a good idea. Okay, maybe we should just long when it makes sense, which is like here. When you have uh... I'm not sure. So take a look at this. Here we have the long short and uh... and uh, it's not a good idea and any any of them maybe maybe around here. It's a good idea because then you you've got a big movement. <clears throat> okay, so uh let's write this down perfectly. So what we're going to do here is, um, let's see. So we set the both both of the arrays. We set them to to eight. So this is something that we need to change again. So this is going to be eight, eight. Where the hell are you? Eight. And eight, okay. <clears throat> then we've got the Monte Carlo thing, which should be here. So this is ten right now. Look at that. So after ten candles, we decide to do our stuff. And uh, that's it. So this is the U something, isn't it? You applaud. So here we have a lot of stuff. So uh, so we're going to save some of these changes not this we're going to save this uh, not this so this is going to be um,
Wait a moment. Why is this a change if originally this was an 8? Okay, so the A, 10, A, it's not the change. So this is going to be um, set Monte Carlo, check after, check set HD8, Monte Carlo, check after to 10. Nice. What more stuff do we have here? So we have the sum of the plot. Which is something that I guess we want to save here. So not this, yes. And uh, so this this is new long. New barrels here. Then finally, we're going to plot this thing. Plot this and this. So now, <clears throat> I want to make another, um, let's see. Now I want to do another trading logic. And, uh, okay, so if we reset all of this with whatever it's here, let's see real quick. We have something more or less, and uh, yeah, I don't care. But I want to see if uh, we have to all others. To all others are not enabled, as I as I thought, as I want. So the new logic, um, it's going to be. I mean, close him and buy something, something. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so here there's some close advice which we don't we don't want to do anything related to this. Now we're going to make our new logic. I mean, this this needs to be done in another way, but. So we ignore anything, everything about do HTA, and uh, we, we are going to keep this close, but for sure I'm going to remove it. And uh, so, what the hell are we going to do here? Here we're going to use the uh, some stuff. So this new logic, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So I can move this to the bottom. Okay, so the logic is going to be um, this. Wait, uh, it's the short one. So the short one needs to be zero. Then we long. And the other one is the short one needs to be six. Or more than six. Then we short. This is new logic, and uh, I will make some inputs because otherwise we won't be able to test this properly. Um, 
Let's see what happens here. So now this should be working more or less with what we have set before. I mean, the problem is that we're going to close the trades very soon because we have those closed. But, I mean, I don't care. So, look at that. We only have five trades. And it's not very good. However, I want to check... What the hell's happened? Uh, here. So around here we should have this thing about having 0 and 6, which is this, this one here. 31 is 3. Uh, what the hell is the 6 one here? Hmm. Wait, no, it's zero. Have I done this right? A long is if this is zero. And uh, is this used? Yeah, it's used here. Why isn't it long in here? Because of the close. Okay, let's remove the close stuff. Let's see what happens. Uh, we need to disable close when not enough. Where the hell is this? Long hits. We need to disable these two ones here. Okay. Now we have much more trades. It's not good, but we have much more trades. And uh, we're going to see if we can improve this somehow. <clears throat> Take a look at this. Here we have what I wanted to have, which is a very good trade here, which is go goes up, 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 and up. It never ends. Okay. <clears throat> so here you have a zero and it goes up and uh, and what are you supposed to be doing here? Should we wait? Till this gets up, no, that's not a good idea. Maybe we should wait for this to be up. Yeah. So we should close when this is five, probably. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I, it's if it's a good idea still here. So we are here and and this is five. No, this is okay. So here you have more than five, and then you close. So we already have the short here. 
which is not going so well. But here we also have a long trade and uh, let me see real quick yeah so this is checked later on and for the moment it was a good idea and then there was a movement here short stop loss is reach here so we are getting short stop loss is reach here but we actually have these movements here which is um, the consensus thing not the stop loss but the consensus thing which is what to tell us where to close so this is a short consensus being increased if I'm not mistaken actually we should be seeing here this trade renew thing Why the hell are aren't we seeing anything? I don't have any plot, maybe, and that's why I'm not seeing any data here. I mean, I'm supposed to be having some plots, isn't it? I mean, okay. Let's save this and let's reload to see if we have any 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 value here because right now it's quite interesting that we don't have any of these values <sighs> yeah so I will have to plot some stuff maybe I'm supposed to be moving this to the Six success here. And that way we can see system pain above object three at the window. Oh, damn it! I was checking the wrong. Move to existing pane below, then uh, create a new pane below. And I can check the data window real quick. I don't want this. Uh, okay, let's write this down so that I don't forget. We should probably use. Uh, the long consensus as they happen to individually as they happen as a stop loss. not waiting for our virtual trades stop loss happen it happened as a as a as a breakout as a triggering breakout end okay uh let me see <clears throat> uh, 
Let me check, check here. What the hell do we have here? Okay, so we have this big movement upwards. We also have all of this. And now I can check the consensus thing that I was trying to understand what the hell, where to close. And so, look at that. So now we long. Okay, that's nice. But when the hell do we close this trade? Are we going to check this, which is uh, number five? I don't care about this. I want to check this one was okay. I want to check this one here, which I think represents better what we want to do here. Okay. So if you take a look at here, you can see how this goes down and then there's one of these that goes up and this might be a good place where to 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 end this end the trade so we start here because we have detected some candles ago that uh it was a good thing to long because short stop losses is zero okay so um now we um check this data here to see what the hell do we find here so long consensus five short consensus 10 that's what we need to use in order to close the trades short consensus so let me write it down Let me write this down. Close the trade when so close a long trade when beer trailer in beer trailer in. Short consensus is greater or equal than 10. That's it. I don't care what's happened here. I want this to close the trade. So I know that this is a good trade. Then I trade it till there's something like that. And the... Uh, Let's see what happens now with those rules, with this, our, our trade regarding finding all of this. So we start to trade here and now we're going to search for a short, short consensus thing of 10 or more. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, wait a minute. Here it is. Here it is. Look at that. Look at that. Here it is. I mean, uh, here. Here you are. Wait. Yeah, it's a short consensus bigger than 10. Okay. Uh, that's what we are going to do. So, um, this close when this happened with not enough hits, we ignore this. We're going to close thanks to another staff that we are going to, to code ourselves. <clears throat> so, not this yes not this and now we can say something like um, 
Do not close. Do not close when not enough hits. Okay. So the logic. Uh, we need logic for closing this, and uh, that way uh, it's another function that we need to have. Um, Okay, let's let's force this here and uh, and we will end the stream and we will check we 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 had we have we have caught it okay just real quick because otherwise so um if we close look at that here it is. So what we're going to do here is that this is always true and this is HTA consensus. I mean, maybe there is already a consensus thing around here. It's really follow the bump. Cumulative bump advice, follow the bump. Close advice. I don't know. So, um, HDA, beer, trailer in, uh, long, close advice. I don't know if it's a good way of putting this here. But this is going to be be a trade ring short consensus being bigger than 10 like this I mean not because this is an integral I mean yeah that's it so if this short consensus is more than 10 then we close this trade and that's it we don't do we don't did we don't do the short one Take a look at this. We have this new sh logic. We long when when this is zero, and we short when this is uh, more than uh, six, and then we close this thing when uh, this is more than ten. And this should work uh, quite well, but we're not going to save this. We're going to do it on the next uh, stream. So we decide a good place where to long, thanks to the stop losses that we detect in our arbitral trades. If there are a lot of stop losses, it's a good idea to go long. And then we close when we find out that we are going up with um, quite, uh, quite the movement. And that way, you know, Let's see. Let's see. I mean, the the only the two trades that we have done, we should see them, and uh, there should be okay. And then we're going to end here. I mean, the problem is that I don't have. Uh, I mean, yes, I I could, I could update this, but uh, that way. There's no way I. Okay. Take a look at this. It's not very good, but is it working as I have set or not? That's the good question. Take a look at this. We, we win. Uh, yeah. Here you win, here you lose. Okay, nice. Uh, this is the one with six, which I'm not sure we want to do. And this is what I was saying. So we we start here, and as as long as we have something here, we 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 uh, long. 
and here also you long till we, we find this uh, more than I mean, is it this 15 yeah we find this 15 thing is that we are not stuck in the same place let's remove because this short long oh look at that we have more losses than if I say that I only want long trades because I'm not sure what happens with the sh these short trades. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, okay. It's also a bad thing to have here. Although here it's going up. I mean, sometimes it goes up. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, around here, everything is nice. Although you can see here how this is, wait a minute, <clears throat> what the hell is this, this is 28 and this is uh, three so if we have four we don't want to trade if we have four on the long side um, damn it and long HDA some um, is strictly less than four then we long uh, we can write this real quick run here I guess so I long if this is less strict than four I mean it's it's uh, less is three or less otherwise if it's four maybe it's not a good idea to too long okay let me test this real quick to see I mean it should help us here I mean not here but here hmm <laughs> Why is there what the hell happens here? Okay, yeah, so we close one and then we open another one. Is this any better? A bit better, I guess. I, I'm not seeing it, but I guess that it's a bit better. Okay, let's see what happens in uh, 50 trade. Fifty trade. Oh, look at that. The price is going down. And uh, I mean, the problem here is that we are um, doing a lot of long trades. Um, that's probably a no not a good idea making so much long trades. So here we have the short stop loss to zero. 
mean actually short to stop loss set to zero means that shorting is a good thing to do I'm not sure why this means this means longing to me it means longing because Wait a minute. Okay, so here we have these good entries, which we have decided that were that they were good entries because when yeah, so when this reaches zero, it means that short trades have had a lot of good results. So it's a good idea to long. However, this is in the present. However, in the past, this happens. We also have very good results for short trades, but it keeps going on because you know because the price goes down and down it, it's a downtrend so it's usual it's uh, nice it's it's something supposed to be happening so yeah sometimes when you've got Let's see. This should be... So this goes down, 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 down. And here we reflect that this was a very good short trades. So it's a good idea to long. Uh, like here. Wait a moment. How the hell can we avoid this kind of problems? <clears throat> so here we are at zero. So here we are at zero, which means a lot of short rates have one so it's a good idea to long but let's wait for this stupid candle which is a uh, long consensus let me see long consensus 50 so I would trade here and uh, I would lose either And uh, here there is a long consensus too. Hmm. This might not have more trades around here because of the um, risk management. So, uh, long HDM, some less than four, and long consensus. <clears throat> long consensus is more than one. <clears throat> Uh, let me find a value that makes sense for uh, this long consensus thing. Maybe here. Why is only one? I don't understand why is only one. Should have more. 
Okay, let's use one anyway. So this is the trigger. So, look at that. So we are at the bottom of shorts, we are less than longs. And then in order to avoid problems when we are going downtrend, we manage to ask for this long consensus to be one. And uh, let's see what we have right now. I think we should use 10 or something instead of only one so that we have better results even but I'm not sure about that okay let's see what happens around here if we can find more long trades or whatever I mean, we should have less trades. Okay, here you are. Uh, okay. What's happened here? So, yeah. So, we have this uh, one thing here. So, long consensus is 14, which is uh, a lot of them. And then we try to long and we fail, and that's to be expected. But then we should have another long consensus around here. I think this is short, short consensus. Okay. Why don't we have anything here? So here we have a long consensus. And uh, we are not trading this. Is this related to um, risk management? What the hell is risk management? Where the hell is risk management? Where the hell is risk management? They want to remove risk management. Here you are. Let's remove risk management so that we can see how the algo would work. Because here you want along, here you want along, and then this one explodes. If it's not. I mean, you actually want. Oh, wait. Maybe we are not getting long trades because this is not uh, three or four or whatever we have sent. The, the. Okay, so this is, so from 28 to here is 32, so this is 4. This is 4, and our condition is, and this, this needs to be less than 3, and that's why we are not trying to long everywhere here. Here we are trying to long, and... Uh, Short consensus. Should we use three instead of ten? Uh, that's a good question. Okay, what happens here? Do we have 
uh, three long. Okay, three short consensus is here. Yeah. Where the hell is this? So we have down here we have a long condition where the hell is this? They have some conditions about closing this. Uh, I'm not able to find them. Here it is. This is going to be 3 instead of 10. And uh, we will see So now we should have uh, this thing here like long and then when you have three we close and that's it. Like this, look at that. Okay, I guess, I don't know. So sometimes it's not worth, um, yeah, sometimes it's not worth long in or whatever. Let's see what happens here. Take a look at this, which is the latest, latest trades. So this is a very good trade. Where we are waiting for uh, something to happen, long consensus. Then we long, end. but this one here, we lose a lot. Maybe now it's a good idea not to have the ATR so big so that we can focus on not losing so much and uh, because we are not doing uh, big trades because of the three where we close the staff. So this should be 175, I guess. Let me write down all of this. So we change, we change closing. So close. So we close a trade when the short consensus is greater than greater than uh, than three okay and uh, <clears throat> I wonder if maybe th we have a problem with the uh, trailer in and because and then we also change a stop loss a stop loss ATR multiplier 
from to where the hell are you? From 250. And we change it to 175. Okay, so uh, 175. Let's see how, how it goes. Here at the very end. Why isn't there? Why isn't there any trades? That's very, very confusing. Oh, take a look at this. I mean, actually, if the stop loss is smaller, uh, the values that we were having here are going to be different. And that's not going to be a good thing. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, we we could actually trade with um, profit factor. Yeah, so these values that we have here about zero and so on are changed. So this is not a good idea because we are going to Okay. No, this is discarded. Discarded. Unless I use something else to track the trailer in stop loss, which I actually do, or don't I? I don't know. In any case, um. I'm going to change this to 250 because oh, I say so. So this is 250. So we are going to have a lot of trades as we had before. And once we have this, <clears throat> I want to try to check. Um, Maybe we are able to do some take profit. So we enable take profit with the default logic and risk reward ratio 125. And maybe this is what we want to do. <clears throat> we will have those closes and we also will have those um, 125 stuff thing. Let's make the risk reward ratio bigger so that we can uh, have more trades or something. Okay. What about risk reward ratio 3? Wait a moment. Let's reset everything for a moment. I just find out that this thing here is always trying to work. I mean, there's this long consensus thing at greater than one 
Yeah, and uh, what we usually did is this thing here, swing long, swing short, which is this thing here. So that's what you use, and we are not using it. Let me see. This needs to be used here, otherwise it's not what this is supposed to be. So consensus more than one. We might change this with another value later on. Okay, let's try this, which will have less rates and probably better results. Although now I'm not sure of anything. So we have some values about how many shorts we have, which is something similar to RSI. And then we have, uh, then we know when, when the, when a big movement happens, we know it. And that's something that we used before. But it was not working so well. Okay. Now we are actually trading long when you might decide to trade short. Okay, so if I have reset everything. Let's focus on long trades because that's what um, we have more filters for. We have that close thing, which is based on short consensus. Okay. This this is a problem. Maybe I should use the career closing lines in order to close this when uh, I think that this is zero, and I use career closing line and, uh, and that's it. Because career closing lines went went well when working with those long trades let me check here here you are why the hell are there news here um mc minutes 21 of february oh look at that this is on the future when the hell is this tomorrow Tomorrow at 8 o'clock, Spain. We are going to have some big movement. <laughs> That's why Bitcoin is not moving right now. So, the idea is that we have a zero here and then we long. And that's it. How the hell do you filter the book? I need to have some inputs. Let's have inputs and also enable disable for more for this new code. And we have added. Yeah, I want to know what happens when when this becomes. I mean, I, I don't want. I don't want to to be 
doing this finally, so... No. So this is next video, okay? We cannot keep doing this anymore today. So thank you very much for watching. Um, bye.